What's up, guys? I realize I have not been making enough videos for you all um, this summer. Been a little busy with this little one. The pup, that's Matina, named after Matine Cleves. One of the greatest college basketball players, in my opinion, of all time. One of the greatest leaders I've ever seen. But I wanted to talk about goal setting and mindset. Strangely enough, or maybe not strange enough, that, that's one of the biggest questions I get asked through email and through my clients. So last night, Bettina was up every hour, hour and a half. She had diarrhea. I was getting up early this morning to do legs. So by the second time I got up in the middle of the night, my mindset was right away, okay, I'm being tested here. This is almost like something they would do in SEAL training or whatnot, the intermittent sleeping, and all you parents know about that. And I took it as a challenge. And I said, this is going to make me tougher. You know, waking up every hour, every two hours, instead of sleeping straight through. So I looked at it as a challenge because over the years I've trained my mindset to be just that. You've got to view every opportunity as a challenge. So rereading uh, 50th Law for like the 10th time with one of the uh, basketball players at Dual Strength. Um, and I think it's important that they all read, so I try to pick a book that's appropriate for each one and we read it. Uh, simultaneously. So a few quotes from this morning. Uh, when you talk about Napoleon, there are no Alps and no obstacles that can stand in the way of a person without fears. So that's referring to when Napoleon went through the Alps, even against the advisement of his advisors, and allowed him to win a key battle and surprise the enemy. Napoleon did not have fear. You guys got to train yourself to be fearless in all that you do. Um, that cannot, cannot be understated. I was just talking to one of the longtime members at Dual Strength yesterday about just uh, not wanting the safety net and going for it. Um, you know, stopping teaching. That was a huge thing for me, not having a plan B and realizing that you've got to cut plan B out if you want to succeed. Um, and speaking of that, another thing right here, talking about 50 Cent, he decided to cut his ties to the game and dive into the music racket without any connections or a safety net. Because he had no plan B, because it was either succeed at music or go under, he operated with a frantic, bold energy that got him noticed in the rap world. If you have a plan B, you're living with fear. If you have a plan B, you're not going to act with that frantic, bold energy, that sense of urgency. You got one shot at this life. You gotta make it work. You gotta go for it. Um, I think I have one or two, two more things. And, and I highly recommend picking this book up, by the way. Um, if you are afraid to learn from your mistakes, you will more than likely keep repeating them. Your feel, fearful attitude exposes you in, in, in invisible prison, and there you will remain. Again, if you're fearful, you're not gonna outstep or step outside your, your comfort zone, your boundaries. It's going to hold you back your whole life. If whatever you're doing doesn't scare you a little bit, you're not going big enough, you're not going hard enough. And lastly, at some point you will discover the power of reversal. Overcoming the negative of a particular fear leads to a positive quality, self-reliance, patience, supreme self-confidence, and on and on. Once you start on this path, it's hard to turn back. You will continue all the way to a bold and fearless approach to everything. And that's the gist of this book, The 50th Law, is being fearless in everything. Look at everything as a challenge. And, uh, you've got to be a little crazy um, and fanatical if you want to achieve your dreams in life. So keep grinding, keep going after it. Uh, Till next week, talk to you later.